everybody. <laughs> Hello. Yay. It's Friday again. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Yay. It's Friday. <laughs> Happy TDIF, everybody. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you, dog. It's Friday. Oh, our favorite day of the week is here and we're thank celebrating you. and we're, it's double celebrations because it's getting closer to Halloween, yeah. which is a lot <laughs> of fun. Uh, and oh my gosh, we've, we've got, we, we got inspired this week. Um, it was yeah. really a kind of a, a serendipitous little kind of we fell into something we just thought would be really fun to share with everybody. So thank you so much for being with us today. I hope you're having a great, great day. This is our favorite day of the week, and we're super happy um, to be here with you, as always. Um, if you don't know who we are, I'm Patty Quinn, and I'm here with the amazing Hillary Buholz. Hello, everybody. <laughs> and we are the co-founders of We Heart Hounds. We meet right here, uh, at wherever you're watching us, um, at every Friday uh, at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And we uh, love to just talk dog stuff, crafts yeah. and <laughs> recipes and anything that has to do with puppies um, that makes our heart melt. So that's what it's all about. And we're super excited about today's craft. <laughs> You have a little ghost behind you. I, I do have a little mummy. She's, she's, yeah. she's uh, my little ghost and goblin. She's, she's buried under her blanket where she loves to be when, when we do these. Um, I'll bring her out here in a little bit. Uh, she's curled up as a little doggy donut, I'm sure, under the blanket right now. So I'll, I'll let her be. Um, but today, uh, we're all about pumpkin decorating. Uh, our, our DIY today is called howl oween pumpkin stencils um and they were really inspired by these amazing stencils that we found at a, a company called supreme source uh, they have already printable uh decorations that you can make for your pumpkins so they have a lot of fun little little designs that you can do i love that their simplicity right they're just super easy um they don't they don't, they're not intimidating and like really intricate yeah. and all that kind of stuff. So a lot of fun and there's lots to choose up, choose from. And there's a link for those stencils in this description as well. So, and, yeah. and we'll have a kind of write up and things on our website as well, where there'll be a link for those also. So exactly, exactly. Them. So we, we came across these, just fell in love with the designs and everything um, and kind of just picked, it was funny because we didn't, tell each other which ones we were picking and we, we picked different ones, <laughs> which I think is great so that you can kind of see some uh, gets inspired by the different styles that we chose. Um, these are obviously used to carve your pumpkins, right? Yep. So you can cut them out, cut out the shapes, trace that onto your pumpkin and then carve that out, and which I think would be really yeah. cool. Like I just can see them lighting up at night. It would be a lot of fun. Uh, really cool effect. But today we wanted to give these a try with a no carving pumpkin yep. method. Um, and which means we get to pull out our craft stash and all the fun <laughs> goodies that we have, which we absolutely love. So uh, basically just kind of picked, I just ended up picking for one of mine, I did two pumpkins. One of mine is, is this little love print, which I actually love. And um, I thought, wouldn't it be fun to do like a polka dot theme? So I grabbed some polka dot fabric. This is some polka dot fleece. I'm sorry. This is ribbon, not fabric, polka dot <laughs> ribbon. <laughs> it's Friday. Uh, polka dot ribbon, some polka dot fleece and some little mini pom poms. And I just thought it would be fun to just kind of take that polka dot theme, even though they're all different colors and stuff um, and kind of run with it. Cause that would make whatever the design you use um, kind of have some continuity to it, right? Yep. And so let me share with you um, the first one that I did, which I just think it's so cute. <laughs> So cute, and I love that the paw is super fuzzy. Like you just you want to you want to you want to feel the fuzz. It's so cute, uh, and it's got little little bits of the the polka dots on it. And then I just cut uh, the you know this is a wide ribbon. I think it's what I think yeah two and a half inches. Um, and so the L and the E fit perfectly. I had to use for my V. I had to use two kind of pieces of ribbon. It's wired ribbon, and I kept the wires. Okay. On on the ribbon to give it a little more stability. Um, so obviously not not the whole thing has right. the wire on it, but where I could, I kept the the wire on it, and I just think it turned out really cute. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I just love I love the effect. What kind and of then, did you use for for those ones? So I. 
I used a glue that I don't think anybody would think to use. I used fabric glue okay. <laughs> <laughs> because um, I loved the tackiness. The, the kind I have is an, the Aileen's quick dry yep. and it's really super tacky. And the other thing that I liked about it is that I could pick it up and move it if I needed to, right? Yeah. If I needed okay. to adjust it a little bit, if I needed to, um, and I, you know, a couple of, a couple of times I had to redo something or whatever. So, because I just didn't like it quite right. So I'm going to, I'll keep this off to the side and I'll show you my little companion one. So the other one I picked, the other design I picked was this one. And I was, this one just turned out. So this is, I'm not really girly girly, but this one turned out really cute, really girly. It's so fun. So here's this <laughs> one. Lots so uh, <laughs> again, I know with the with the polka dot fleece, so you can see the polka dots a little better, and then just put this polka dot bow on here to kind of tie them together, right? Yep. Tie these two together, and then just use some little pom poms. I think these are like quarter of an inch pom poms, and put that on there for the nose. And I just think it adds so much. It's just really fun. So cute. I just love that. And then I, I left the, you know, the tails of the, the ribbons to come up a little bit, give it a little character and just one big massive bow that comes down the sides and stuff just to kind of frame um, our little fuzzy pup here. Um, but I just think these turned out really adorable. <laughs> that is adorable. And a lot of fun. it's a little bit like, uh, especially if you have younger kids or something like that, mm -hmm. it's a little bit easier than actually trying to carve that shape especially the dog shape yeah. is a little bit more intricate so yeah. something like that where they could you know even if they didn't do fabric they could do construction paper you know s something that makes it a little bit easier for them yeah. to be able to yeah to I mean, you could even design. you could even just trace this design onto your pup and then use glitter glue right or glue yep. and then put a bunch of glitter on it like or felt or you know I, obviously you could paint it as well, but I, yeah. you know, I think it's just a lot of fun to kind of pick. And again, just picking a theme, the polka dots was my theme for everything. And I think that worked out well. So that's so cute. So I'm going to have Patty show my stencils because my printer ran out of ink. So I've only yeah. got a pumpkin done. <laughs> well, and you, you, you had to cut out the one that you were using, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this was the first one you did, right? Yep. So just a simple paw print and um, I used some, paint markers but you could use the sharpies or whatever but mine happened to be i was using white so that was the kind of paint marker that i had that was white so this is oh white. i love that and i love the zigzag effect that really it's modern it adds a lot of um elements to it right it you know something that's really simple but you can jazz it up and make it really fun and festive with that yeah. design in the background i love that it's so really my cool for the zigzags, because these are just freehand zigzags. My tip for that, when I was using the marker, I went over it with paint afterwards, but okay. I markered out the zigzags and then you'll do, you know, about an inch, inch and a half wide, whatever, whatever width you want to. But right. as you're working down and doing your zigzags, just etch in just a little bit, like scribble in or on that zigzag because you will lose your place. <laughs> Oh, and as you're working down, which one to fill in and which one you <laughs> exactly. don't. Yeah. <laughs> so as you're working down and especially if you have another pattern, that's going to kind of kind of right. go on top of it. It's right. important to kind of know like, okay, is that going to be a solid space or an empty right. space? So it just helps <laughs> to kind of keep your brain like, oh yeah, okay. Got that one, not that one. And so that's a great tip. <laughs> that's my little tip as you're doing it. And then you can just paint over and kind of smooth out all the edges. And then, yeah. I use just black for the paw print just to make it pop, but you could do other colors, obviously, whatever yeah. works with your decor. Um, I originally, I was thinking I would get a white pumpkin and do mm -hmm. black stripes, but... Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, so really the sky's the limit. You can really kind of customize them and you could do black and orange, you know, the stripes could be black, but right. I think this is kind of a modern take on the... I love that. Little, Pumpkin. And it's it's light and bright, right? So at a distance, yeah. you can really see the paw print, but it also bright. It's really bright, so you know these are not carved, right? So seeing them from a distance, that really pops, and I just love that. That's really fun. So that's that's the one that I did get done. The other one that I'm going to do. Let's see if I can. Here we go. My little naked pumpkin here. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm going to do those bones. Um, and the idea that I have behind it is I will do that kind of black thick outline for the bone. And then on the center of the bone, I'm going to do, I have these sequins. Oh, cool. Sequins that'll go and just kind of fill in that bone area. Yeah. So I'm just going to use some rubber cement because I think okay. it'll make it easy to, you know, put them on. You, you have a little bit of time to play around with it and then you can just pop the little sequins into that center area. I love that. And in fact, if I had had rubber cement, I would have used it. I think the fabric glue that I have is tacky like rubber cement. And yeah. that's why I liked using it. Um, you could probably for with fabric or ribbons or felt or anything like that, you could probably use a Mod Podge. I would oh, yeah. Mod Podge the shape, not the pumpkin so that you're, you're just the glue is on the back of the, the, the shape that you're using. And then you could press that onto the pumpkin so that you don't see the, the glossy Mod Podge on your, unless you oh, want to do the whole pumpkin. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think rubber cement is perfect. I, I wish I would have thought of that because I would have gone out and grabbed some, but you know, the fabric glue worked just Same fine. Yeah. <laughs> Same idea, just different. So we, yeah, these, I think they're really fun. The nice thing about not carving them too, is they do last a little bit yeah, longer. So you that's what I like about that. have them out, you know, for, for a bit longer through the season and stuff. Yeah. And these, although it's Halloween, they're obviously classic for Halloween. These kind of classic shapes, like the dog and the love and just the paw print, they'll mm -hmm. work kind of through fall too. So yeah, it doesn't yeah. have to be, uh, you know, that kind of classic um, witch or- The jack-o'-lantern jack face. Or, and, or, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. No, these are great. These are a lot of fun. So thank you to Supreme Source for putting these together because we just yep. had a blast. Um, and like I said, I think they would make great for carving an actual pumpkin and seeing a little candlelight glow. Uh, but oh my gosh, you could just let your imagination soar yeah. with the possibilities, like just dig through your craft stash, see what you have on hand, let the kiddos help. I mean, I just think this is so much fun. And like Hillary said, they last a lot longer than a carved pumpkin. So yeah. you can, you could start early dogtober, <laughs> the first of dogtober <laughs> and, um, and have them sit out all the way through Thanksgiving. If you wanted yep. to. So. Yep. So. Anyway, this was a lot of fun. Hope you guys yeah, enjoyed it. And hope, <laughs> yeah. I hope you ins we inspired you to get out there, um, download the PDF, uh, you know, and, and print these up and make some really fun pumpkins. We'd love to see pictures um, that would just make our day. And of course, yeah. you know, any, any kind of dog themed pumpkins, we'd, if you've got them, we'd love to see pictures of those as well. Yeah. And if Thank you're looking you. for other ideas, we have a huge long playlist of all kinds of great wreaths and recipes and crafts and anything dog under the sun we probably have some, <laughs> some sort of an idea for it in our playlist and if you have something that you'd like us to try we are more than happy to uh, give something a whirl so please leave your comments um, yeah. if you know somebody that you think would enjoy this if you can share it and like that would you know it really does help us out when you do that so we would really appreciate it so. That would be wonderful. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for spending time with us today. We had a great time. I hope you did, too. Enjoy your weekend. Snuggle your pups for us. Oh, I said I'd do a little cameo with this little snuggly pup. <laughs> Let me bring, bring her out. She's wearing her little fall sweater. Come here, sweetheart. <laughs> her, little, her little apple sweater. Her little cardigan. Her little cardigan with the buttons down the back. I just think it's so cute. Oh, this is Ginger. So she just wants to say goodbye. Bye, everybody. Thanks so much. Thanks, everybody. Have bye -bye. a great weekend. Take care.